Hey everybody, Sebastian Blanco here from Autoblog, Autoblog Green. Checking in on location from Miami, Florida this weekend where I got to spend a little bit of time watching the Formula E race. It's the first time the race was held in North America. It was an excellent weekend. Lots of people really excited about electric cars and they got to learn a lot about electromobility. The organizers had what was called an e-village set up. Um, no surprise to anyone who's been following the race, BMW had their i8 out there as well as a couple of i3s and those cars were also on the track. The crowds were quite big, the grandstands were all full, the crossways over the racetrack, you had people looking down from their apartment buildings, you had a, even a yacht that was docked on the water because it was right on the waterfront so they could watch the race. Um, it was just a, a nice bustling atmosphere and all in the favor of electric vehicles. I got to go back into the paddock a little bit and see the teams uh, prepping the cars ahead of time, which was a lot of fun. Each team very, very intense, very you know, motivated to win. Got to talk to the Rimac or Rimac guys from Croatia. Their Concept One is here. Their car being used by the race director, so they're pretty excited about that. They're actually gonna deliver their first car to a customer in Florida here this June. Um, and also, you know, since, the, since we are kind of here at a race, let's give congratulations to Nicholas Prost for his win. It was the first time he's won a Formula E race and uh, puts him at the top of the standings, actually. He's done well enough in the previous races that this win puts him at the top of the standings for now. For Autoblog and Autoblog Green, this has been Sebastian Blanco on location in Miami.